In the last video, we manually split our data into a single test set and evaluated out of sample error once. However, this process is a little fragile. The presence or absence of a single outlier can vastly change our out of sample RMSE. A better approach than a simple train test split is using multiple test sets and averaging out of sample error, which gives us a more precise estimate of the true out of sample error. One of the most common approaches for multiple test sets is known as cross validation, in which we split our data into 10 folds or train test splits. We create these folds in such a way that each point in our data set occurs in exactly one test set. This gives us 10 test sets and better yet means that every single point in our data set occurs exactly once. In other words, we get a test set that is the same size as our training set but is composed of out-of-sample predictions. We assign each row to its test set randomly to avoid any kinds of systematic biases in our data. This is one of the best ways to estimate out-of-sample error for predictive models. One important note, after doing cross-validation, you throw away all the resampled models and start over. Cross-validation is only used to estimate the out-of-sample error for your model. Once you know this, you refit your model on the full training data set so as to fully exploit the information in that data set. This, by definition, makes cross-validation very expensive. It inherently takes 11 times as long as fitting a single model. 10 cross-validation models plus the final model. The train function in Caret does a different kind of resampling known as bootstrap validation, but is also capable of doing cross-validation, and the two methods, in practice, yield similar results. Let's fit a cross-validated model to the MTCARS dataset. First, we set the random seed, since cross-validation randomly assigns rows to each fold and we want to be able to reproduce our model exactly. The train function has a formula interface, which is identical to the formula interface for the LM function in base R. However, it supports fitting hundreds of different models, which are easily specified with the method argument. In this case, we fit a linear regression model, but we could just as easily specify method equals RF and fit a random forest model without changing any of our code. This is the second most useful feature of the caret package behind the cross validation of models. It provides a common interface to hundreds of different predictive models. The TR control argument controls the parameters Caret uses for cross-validation. In this course, we will mostly use tenfold cross-validation, but this flexible function supports many other cross-validation schemes. Additionally, we provide the verbose iter equals true argument, which gives us a progress log as the model is being fit and lets us know if we have time to get coffee while the models run. Let's practice cross-validating some models.